been no end to bad news coming from Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Over the last six months, six adult cheetahs and three cubs have died, taking the total death toll of animals in Kuno National Park to nine. Yes, I'm including the latest cheetah death, which was reported on Wednesday morning. Now, according to the Forest Department, one of the Namibian cats, uh, Tablisi, was found dead. Now, Tablisi was one of the female cheetahs uh, who was specially flown in from Nambia to India last September. Remember, this is part of India's grand wildlife experiment to restore the population of this endangered carnivore in the country. Uh, cheetahs got extinct from India almost 70 years ago. Now, regards to the latest incident, uh, the exact cause of death is still unclear and a post-mortem uh, uh, examination is underway. However, we spoke to some of the officials associated with the project and they say that the female cheetah was yet to be recaptured. It was found with a wound around its neck which had a lot of infestation by maggots and flies which may have uh, caused a blood infection and pushed the animal into a septic shock. Now, experts say that such kind of wounds can be aggravated by radio collars which tend to rub uh, against the skin of the animal. Now, if you remember, uh, a male cheetah had died in July in a very similar way and that led the forest uh, that led the cheetah staring committee to call a meeting and discuss the situation with experts from uh, both india as well as south africa and nambia and it was concluded that all the animals all the cheetahs who have been released into the wild would be recaptured and brought back into the bomas in the palpur area of the kuno national park and they would be examined a special expert who uh, you know basically specializes in the use of radio collars was uh, invited from South Africa. Mr. Mike Toft then examined the uh, health of these animals. Now, while the forest department was able to capture most of these cheetahs, only two females were still in the wild and one of them was the Blisi who was found dead on a Wednesday morning. Now, uh, uh, experts are still very, uh, sh uh, is not, are not very sure about co what could have, you know, led to this sudden infection in, in these animals. But uh, what they agree upon is that the cheetahs are very delicate creatures and are prone to infections like these. Uh, and uh, over the last six months, if you remember, uh, all the six adult cheetahs and the three cubs who have died have died due to various reasons. The first cheetah death uh, uh, of Sasha was reported in March due to a kidney illness. Then Uday, male cheetah, died due to a cardiopulmonary failure. Then in May, another uh, uh, cheetah died when it was put into an enclosure with the other two male cheetahs and there was violent interaction during mating. That was also the time that three cubs had died due to the intense summer heat and then then in july another two cheetahs died so uh, there have been deaths almost being reported almost every month uh, there have been a lot of questions raised on this project uh, experts are not very sure about whether this long quarantine period that these animals were subjected to has you know led to the situation has added to the stress uh, faced by these animals but what they do agree on is that the animals are still struggling to adapt to uh, the completely new geographical and uh, climatic and weather conditions in India uh, and uh, as well as adjusting their biological clock to the changed timings in, in, in both the countries. Uh, all this again as, a, as I would like to highlight as part of Project Cheetah, India's grand wildlife experiment to restore the population of this endangered animal. Uh, thank you so much for watching CNN News 18. Uh, keep reading our stories on news18.com for more such updates.